Hello everyone and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. Today we have a 5.4 to strike in the Mexico side of the California-Mexico border. A pretty big 5.4 earthquake. So that's very significant to be honest. Doesn't happen that often. Nope. Oops. Okay. So yeah, magnitude 5.5. 204 felt reports in USGS. Let's pull this up on Google Earth. I'm assuming it occurred on the San Andreas, or close to it, one of the bordering faults I can't see because it's on the Mexico side. Oh, whoops. There we go. So yeah, maybe one of the side faults, but <laughs> near the San Andreas fault, definitely. Uh, let's see how far it was from our seismometers. Uh, let's see. Around 152 miles away. So that, sorry, my Instagram. So that's pretty far away. But if you look at the readings here, yep, still going. These are massive readings. Usually it doesn't just go black like that. In Apple Valley, uh, Manaphy, where I'm at. And it's even going crazy in Mammoth, which is just insane. And it's still kind of going in like. Mammoth, which is all the way near, like, Central California, kind of. And it's been going on for almost, for like 20 minutes now, so that's very surprising. And on a Raspberry Shake, huge ring, sorry about that. That here where I'm on, that's probably my washer. And then here, the P wave alone is massive. And then the S wave is even larger, which is probably where most people felt the shaking. And it keeps on going. For a while, and it stops around 4:02 UTC. And if you can see on the spectrogram, these readings. This is the S wave, which is also this is sorry P wave, which is large. Sorry, about the globe. Let me close that. But the S wave, like it gets a very very dark color, which means there was a very strong shaking. So that's very so that's really surprising. And it's here as you can obviously see and yeah that's gonna wrap it up for this video and i hope you guys have a good day night whatever time it is for you and see you all in the next video